good afternoon. I am so excited because today is October 22nd, AKA the day of our annual Halloween party. And I am so excited because every single year we throw a Halloween party, I go all out. Um, well, I don't know, my definition of all out. And I make everybody wear costumes. So it's really fun. So today I am going to be decorating for the Halloween party. It starts in, it starts in two hours. <laughs> closer to an hour and 45 minutes and we haven't started decorating at all but we did clean the entire house and we set up the whole backyard guys do you remember what the backyard used to look like well after being in the house for two months we finally have something going on here it is hi Luna hi I don't know if you guys just heard there was like a kid screaming as soon as I opened the door so we got the turf put in we got our landscaping put in just now like literally they finished it a couple days ago obviously we have like a table set up for the party as well as this situation cornhole and then we just got this piece of furniture all built and stuff so I'm feeling really good and oh I stepped on a rock oh okay and we got this porch swing. It is so beautiful. I love sitting on it in the mornings, you know, with my espresso, with the dogs, and we just hang out. It's a little bit crooked because we had it on there and then it fell. Zach and I got on it and it fell. It wasn't in a stud right there, so we had to move it over. That was really scary. That was really, really scary. So the dogs are enjoying the new backyard. They love it. Luna wants to be out here literally all the time. And look at all these acorns, guys. We just cleaned up all this turf, so Zach is probably gonna rake really fast before the party but this tree it produces so many acorns oh and we also got these lights put up which i will show you at night those are so pretty so i love having this tree but oh my gosh it's huge and it drops so many acorns okay let's go inside and see what we are working with to decorate oh and i have my little planting station we love it so i can plant plants there and there's some dirt and some pots and it's just so fun. I'm really excited too because over the last two days we had speakers installed throughout the whole house to play music on. Our last home had those speakers and it was the best thing ever. Like if you ever have the opportunity, like say you're building a home and they're like, do you want to add speakers? Like it's some extra money. Like if you have the budget, yes. They're a necessity for me at least, and I love having them. Like, I just love having music playing everywhere I go. Okay, so we have to decorate. I know, I know. Luna is gonna get really anxious when people get here. There's somebody, and I won't name any names because I don't want anybody to feel bad if they see this, but there's one guest who whenever we have them over at our house, Luna like hides. She gets really anxious when this one person comes over. This one person doesn't know that she does this. Um, it's just a pattern that we've noticed over the past couple years. If that one person comes tonight, she will be anxious and she will be hiding. Again, the person, who is the cause of it doesn't know that this happens with Luna and they've never had a bad experience with Luna. They've only been really, really, really nice to her. So I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So anyway, we gotta get Zach and we have to decorate. Also, here's like a look at the living room. I know you guys really want a house tour, but I just don't know. I just don't know if I'm gonna end up doing one. Yeah, we have our couch, we have our coffee table. Like it's the same stuff that's been in the past like two houses. It's just in a different spot. And then we have our TV, like the little art frame TV, which it looks more like art in person. But honestly, I love our little living room. Zach and I hang out here so much. And then we have the dining room and the kitchen. So I think that's like the closest to a house tour we'll do in a bit. Hey babe, he's in his PJs. Yeah, we did just take a nap. Yeah, I took a nap because the party starts at 8 p.m. because we've noticed every time we throw parties, people don't come till later. So we're like, okay, people must just like to go late. Um, so we took a little nap so that we could stay up because we will fall asleep at 10.30 if not. So here is the, here's the little box of treasures. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have some throw pillows. Those are fun. Yes, okay. Uh, ooh, these little lamps. These are good, these are good. We have a fog machine, which we never use. A little sign. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. All right, we got some leaves, which are great to put around the house. We have tons of lights. These are the magic makers, guys. These lights. I just type in colored lights on Amazon and they come up. These get people pumped. These get people excited. Oh, we have a tablecloth, which maybe we'll put up. Every time we throw a party, people spill and it's not fun to clean up. So maybe that'll help, I don't know. Oh my gosh, we have this quilt, which is so beautiful and cute. I just got this off of Amazon like last year. It's got some cats on it, some pumpkins. It is so cute. So that's definitely gonna go across the back of the couch. Hey, Mosh. We also have more of these leaves to put down everywhere. Those are so fun. They look good. And ooh, an inflatable ghost. I'm gonna decorate and then I will, I'll, um, I'll touch base. I'll show you guys what we've done. 
Okay, so we got it mostly set up. As we can see, we added lights throughout the house. Look at this arch. <gasps> That's so fun. And then we also have a little ghost in the corner there. We set up lights throughout the whole house. And of course, we have the speakers going. I still have to set up some cupcakes and the food and stuff, but we also got catering, which is on its way. But the party is in under an hour. I still don't have my hair and makeup done, so I have to do that. But look, guys, the speakers. And I texted my neighbor to make sure they couldn't hear it outside and they said they could not, so that is good. Hair and makeup are done. I mean, I'm really, I'm really enjoying the look. My stylist dyed me some pink extensions and I love the way they look. I wish I could do this with my real hair, but I think it's just too damaged. But anyway, we got a pink look going, you know, pink makeup, all that jazz. I'm feeling very beautiful. And now for the costume, look at it. Can you guys guess what I am? Do you know, do you know? Oh my gosh. I got a Margot Robbie Western Barbie outfit commissioned off of Etsy and I'm about to try it on for the first time. I had to send all my measurements so it should fit and then we should be ready to party. Yeah, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> the party is officially started and I have my costume on. I am not sure. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be low-waisted. I just haven't worn anything low-waisted since 2005. So I'm feeling a little bit, um, exposed which is funny because i only wear crop tops exclusively but um here's the fit do we like it and i'm wearing my glittery boots i don't know if you could tell but honestly i love it i feel pretty i think it's so cute and i love the extensions so it's time the party's happening and luna like i said she's here the person that she likes to hide from is here but also um joe dressed like fred flintstone and it scared luna so she's hanging out in the closet it's gonna be okay you can hang out in here all night. I know you will. You're so sweet. I love you so much. Mika's in here too, hiding. And I have to locate Ted and then move him in here because I know he'll feel more comfortable in here too. Okay, time to find all the pets. Give me the vlog. Let's go. Let's go. Yo! We're in the vlog. Oh it's Halloween. Well, it's not really Halloween, but it's almost it's Halloween. The 20 it's almost Halloween. It's almost Halloween. You know me. I'm a Ghostbuster. Wait, hold on. Let me pull out my. Yeah, pull out your... We're doing an impromptu vlog clip. Oh, shoot. Put that flash warning on. For real. Yeah, Let you look know. great. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Appreciate shoot. That. We're playing a fun game. We're playing shoots and ladders. Shoot. It's not going well. Okay, a bit of a checkup. It's about 1 a.m. Peach and I are eating some chips. The bowl is heavy and um, people are still hanging out. I think I might be ready for bed soon. Peach is very tempted by these chips I just spilled. She's like wondering if she can get a bit. No, Peach. No, no. Waiting to go to sleep, honestly. Just waiting. It is now the 31st of October, aka actual Halloween. And I put on my Halloween costume and I'm still feeling really self-conscious in it. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna contact the woman who made it and see if I can pay to get the pants remade. Um, so here's the thing. They are actually supposed to be going up to here and I know that Halloween is like today, but I mean, it's a really great piece and I want it to actually fit correctly because these are also supposed to touch the floor. And as we can see, they do not. So um, I'm gonna be taking some photos in this costume because I like really love it and I think it's so cute, but um, I'm gonna be editing the fabric to like come up here and to look like the actual costume itself. And these will be edited lower so that I can look a little bit more true to the Margot Robbie Barbie, which is right here. Here's a photo of it. As we can see, she's wearing high-waisted. I'm not gonna be editing my body or anything. I just, full disclosure, I will be editing the pants to look a little bit longer. I think I wanna get it remade though, but. I'm about to stream on TikTok and I'm really worried because Zach is at a Halloween party for work and I don't know when he's gonna come home because I'm gonna need his help to pass out candy, but I don't know when trick-or-treating starts here and I tried to post on the Ring app, but they didn't like approve my post or something so it won't go up. And I am just a girl doing her best. Anyway, we're gonna take some photos, some TikToks, and I'm gonna go live. I'm like late to being live, but I really wanna memorialize this costume. I got really jealous of all the celebrities uploading their costume and I was like, dang, I wish my costume fit correctly and then I'd feel more confident wearing it. But um, everyone is beautiful the way they are and I just wish I was not wearing low-rise pants. You said we weren't gonna have like any trick-or-treaters. I was worried when I drove home, it was like a dead wasteland, but I'm guessing parents get off like I do and then they have to drive home and take their kids trick-or-treat. Zach's only experience with trick-or-treating I feel like was back in like Seymour, Wisconsin where people had to take their kids trick-or-treating at like 5 p.m. before the sun went down because there was like no roads and- Our city eventually had that law where it's like you had to kind of trick-or-treat before dusk. 
Yeah, like, so he was like, we're not gonna, like, no one's out. I said, like, no one goes out. Like, we gotta, we gotta, like, and we've had a lot, non-stop trick-or-treaters. So here's the selection. Here. We have a lot of variety, actually. This is just one of the bags. Yeah, this is one of the bags. Oh, it has um, an open M&M. Ooh, okay, I'll eat that. Well, that was... <laughs> Um, so we have Starburst, you know, good variety because some kids have allergies, you know, so hopefully they can, you know, get some Starburst if they're allergic to Unless peanuts. they have a dye allergy. Unless they have a dye allergy dye. and then they can get maybe a Snickers. I don't know. And I don't then know. They have a okay. Then they can get a Twix. They have a yellow dye allergy the caramel. They don't use yellow dye and caramel. Maybe they do. They can have a Reese's Pieces. Oh, but they have their peanut allergy. We're doing our best, okay? I put on a skirt. I'm feeling much more confident in this. I think I'm definitely gonna have to go and like try to get the pants remade just to be like higher up. Like something about like wearing anything low cut for me, I just get really uncomfortable in. So I'm feeling a lot more comfortable to accept trick or treaters all night. Oh, we had somebody come to the door and they recognized me and we took a photo together. So that was fun. <laughs> Zach always calls our lights scones. <laughs> he always calls them scones. Don't you expose me. And I'm always like, sconce. <laughs> Cause it, it's like, I only correct people. Like I would never correct like a stranger that I don't really know. But like, I always correct Zach because it's like, what if he's like in a room full of uh, light aficionados or something? And he's like, yeah, the scones. And I can be like, I know, and it's like, well, I don't want him to sound silly. Like, he can sound silly in front of me, but I don't want him to sound silly in front of other people. So I'm like, I'm at the sconce. And it's kind of the same situation with everything. We ran out of candy. It's 8 p.m. We have a pizza cooking. It's time to let the puppies out of the kennel. We had to put them in their bed because Peach was in flight mode. She wanted to meet every trick-or-treater. She wanted to see every costume. She was so into it, but she was a little too into it. Good morning, guys. So. They got to take a little nappy. But guys, thank you so much for watching the Halloween vlog. What are you starting tomorrow, Zach? What am I starting? Yeah. Oh, basically, uh, November 1st is Christmas, guys. So. He's starting he Christmas music. I went to the grocery store today. Um, so today I did Pilates. I went to the grocery store. This and that all before I started doing the Halloween stuff. And they were playing Christmas music at the Central Market. And also, Zach, this pizza is looking burnt. No, so okay, like it's on the top rack because otherwise I have to move the big metal thing all the time. Okay, okay. And it's fine, the crust is crispy. It's this crust. is all we have left. Some Twizzlers. That's disgusting. Hey, actually, I'll take that to the office. People eat that. People like Twizzlers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!